class. At the beginning of uh, Richard's presentation, he was talking about the decline and fall of the CEO. It looks like you've made the greatest comeback since Lazarus. <laughs> it looks like it. And it's about time, right, isn't it? <laughs> but are we talking about the transformation of the CEO, or have you just got a little bit more touchy-feely in the last 12 months? Um, I don't think so. I think in the end, I mean, the, the financial market has the same expectations, probably even, even more brutal than, than what we've ever seen, uh, even in the downturn. I think what, the way I would interpret that is you have, in many, many societies, you have a, a societal debate, even in societies that were not used to it, around jobs and around social responsibility of, of companies. And I think we had this debate at previous times here. I always thought that it's a fundamental misunderstanding to uh, um, have this as a, as a, to depict this as a polarity. I mean, how do you make money? In my view, you do it by having a great team, having great people, having a product that customers want and are willing to pay for, and that's how you make money, right? And, and you have to have at least, I mean, in most industries, in our industry certainly, you have to earn the license to operate every day in the way you act in the communities. I mean, we would not get a mining license in the middle of the Amazon if we would not have a very, very detailed approach to dealing with the communities. And in, in, in reality, when we invest somewhere, uh, very often we build the communities. Even if we leave somewhere, I mean, we mm. cannot just leave. It, we really have to very often rebuild the communities so that they find another way how they can uh, make a living. So just to be clear, you, you completely accept, without condition, this notion that shareholder value is simply not enough. You, it really is, what is it, 60-40 shareholder value stakeholders or 50-50? No, yeah, my how do my you see point it? is a different one. I think no, but cannot, I'm asking you a question about... Yeah, yeah, no, I know, but I'm saying that shareholder value is an outcome it's yeah. an outcome, and you will not get to shareholder value if mm -hmm. you ignore the other things, right? right. So, so I think there's a fundamental misunderstanding of saying, oh, you know, either you shoot for, for shareholder value or you do the other things. I think it's the other way around. You have to do all the other things, otherwise you won't create shareholder value, at least in the long term. I'm not talking about, I mean, short selling and that sort of stuff. That's not the industry that we're in, we're in and we never want to be in.